this video I want to talk about what to do or how I handle when people attack me. Usually nobody attacks me actually to be honest. <laughs> but uh, recently I had one person like be mean to me, so to speak, be pretty mean, pretty a little bit nasty on YouTube when I made a video about fundraising for myself and Sally. Um, for our trip um, for her back home to the Caribbean when we had a lot of issues with her passport and losing a lot of money. Um, but all I want to say is when somebody attacks you or is seemingly mean to you, you don't need to let that drag you down or lower your vibration because everything we do in life is about our vibration. How we feel emotionally is a representation of our vibration at that moment. How other people respond, react to us, or act or respond, or behave with us, treat us in life, say what they say to us, is a representation of their current vibration that they are holding, and how they are feeling emotionally. So I know that this person who is saying that I'm a fraud, and it's pathetic that I'm begging for money, He's coming from a place that seems true and real to him. He's, prob he's possibly either really believing this and doesn't realize the work or help. The, the, the client's sensitive, generous heart, like gentle spirit and heart that I have and my care towards people and years worth of just like giving out continuous like free content which I don't even think of it. I just do it and that's the end of it and it's obviously it's free. I do a little bit of work on the side but the work doesn't flow in for some reason. Maybe it's because I don't appear professional enough or something. But I have what people want and that is inner peace and I have love. I have power. I have I have a lot of really good things like inner treasures you know and we all are the inner treasure. It's all about just rediscovering or uncovering. Morning. It's all about re uncovering or rediscovering who we are. So often when people say things to us, they don't realize the background or where we're coming from, the history, the, the full picture. And one thing I found is what's really, really important when you give suggestions or recommendations or advice to people or try help people. Um, you want to, you can't just give a general broad sweeping thing generally. If you want to get specifics, you have to be specific to that person's background and where they're coming from. For example, when I give <coughs> health suggestions or advice or suggestions, I have to know where that person is standing and coming from. Their organ, like generally you'd want to know like their organ weaknesses or health or something specific to them because if I just say, do this, <coughs> You know, if I said that to 20 people or more, <coughs> some of them may, what I say mightn't suit properly or agree with them based on their past and their, their overall health and well-being and weaknesses or strengths at the moment. The balance, the chemistry, the harmony, the yin-yang. So it's very important to understand people. But I want to get back now to... I want to get back now about responding to people who are attacking you. You do not need to um, let them bring you down. Like this person, and he's, he may even watch this now. <laughs> like, when, when, when we do stuff or, or do things to others, it's actually a representation of who, who and how we are at this moment in life our vibration as I was saying. So it's not a reflect, what we say isn't a reflection of somebody else. What we do and what we say is a reflection of us and, and us in life, our psychology and mental and emotional, physical health at the moment. So I just have like peace towards this person. I'm definitely and utterly not going to hate this person or hold any begrudge. To be honest, I have like love and compassion towards him. Like to be honest, I just feel like I I am him or I was him earlier in my life. Like I had anger and stuff. I like we all have anger. I still get angry, obviously. 
but we all have intense anger sometimes in our life or resentment begrudgery judgmentalism condemnation of other people and that's a really like sad thing to have for yourself and to, to feel that way and to be that way. That's like living a miserable life. That's being sad and disconnected from people. That's having your heart chakra closed to an extent. So all I want to say is what to do is to, you know, people will tell you a million different things. Stand up for yourself. Don't be a walk over, erect boundaries. I'm, I'm so powerful and strong and confident and secure in my own shoes. I don't need to secure and make any boundaries with this person. I don't really need even to defend myself. If I want, I can explain some things to him about what I do and all. But at the end of the day, if, if, I'm, if I'm like cared enough, if I like, if I'm, if I'm arsed or motivated to do that, at the end of the day, I just feel love towards him and I love towards everybody and I have, I feel really well in life. Um, so basically speaking, the heart, the, my point is, the, the more you raise your vibration, the more invulnerable and impenetrable you are against other people's negativity. So this is like the number one recommendation is like how to protect yourself from other people's energy. So that's a very like um, popular thing on YouTube. It's to become powerful and strong and confident and healthy, physically, mentally, emotionally, by raising your vibration and looking after yourself. Be who you are, tune into who you truly are, a loving, powerful, divine being who is temporarily manifested in the physical life. Don't be afraid. Understand people. And most of all, open your heart. Um, and most of all, raise your vibration, which includes opening your heart powerfully. So, if people attack you, use their attack as a mirror to see where you can purify and improve in your life this is essential this is like such a, an important topic an important point don't criticize the messenger don't condemn the messenger use everything for self-growth self-healing self-purification health self-improvement self-empowerment and self-empowerment can also definitely mean increasing your knowledge and wisdom and understanding of things and therefore as you learn and grow you will change make changes and keep shifting keep shifting and shifting and adapting and making more positive fine-tuning to your life more changes so you keep expanding so I thank this person for his criticism his attack his little outburst on me and that's fine. He just doesn't understand that I've helped people, a lot of people. I've gotten, I've gotten like loads of countless and loads of messages from people over the years. I've been, I've been, through no effort of my own sake, although it does time and energy. But I've been inspired to give my time and energy to make posts to help people in life because I've been through a very, very hard and tough upbringing in life so far in my life and it's it's expanded me it's cracked me open to left a shell of nonsense and old ego type of stuff behind a lot and it's allowed myself to rise a little bit like a phoenix from the ashes a fire powerful bird and all I want to have heart and care and compassion for people as a result of my suffering and I want to help people and uplift them to help them to become more of who they truly are themselves in their unique way so, for my, <laughs> for this person, if he doesn't view me in the kindest light at the moment, I hope he feels better about himself in life in due time, when the time is right. And he would never, ever, 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 in a million years, try and condemn me or another person the way he has done. And I'm not going to criticize him, I'm not going to condemn him. I feel, for me now, a soft hearted approach bit like how you treat a young child in pain, as Matt Kahn, who's a fantastic spiritual teacher, would say. Tender, tenderness wins the day for me, not aggressiveness, not feistiness.
that only makes people feel offended, hurt, and go into counter strike against you again. But that's not even why I wouldn't want to be mean. I wouldn't want to be mean back not to avoid a counter strike because it's just simply not in my heart. I don't have any any bad feelings towards this person. I like to view everybody as my friend and family. So if my family member didn't understand me and they haven't in the past, I just explain them explain things to them and be serious about it. But to be kind and loving as well. And that's how you handle family members. That's simple as that. Don't need to make a 20 minute video on that. Oh, well, I could if you want. I could make a longer video about family. Um, love wins the day. You just want to feel good. That's all you want in life. That's all all of us want in life. We want to feel good be well and happy and at peace. So that's all about, that's just, that's your vibration, okay? So I'll make new videos about how to raise your vibration, but for now I'll put two video, a few video little links here about how to raise your vibration here, okay? And have a look at them if you wish. And, uh, I don't know. I just feel very, very Calm, peaceful. <laughs> Feels compassion. Sorry for this person being mean. <laughs> and I'm just saying that word like lightheartedly. He's not a mean person. He's a lovely, 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 beautiful person. I respect him and his opinion at the moment. I only had one other person in seven years. Say anything like particularly mean or nasty to me. And then we ended up having a laugh and we became like friends. <laughs> Alright guys, well, wish you. I'm gonna go now, so I hope this video has been of help to you. And I hope you get on better with people as a result of this video. And hopefully you'll feel better in life when you have problems with people and you won't, you won't get as down or upset or entangled. Just remember, don't use other people as an excuse to bring yourself down. You have the power to control your vibration, Jade, basically. And it's nothing about avoidance of emotions. It's nothing about suppression, which is which is a, not a good. Not a, it's like suppressing and avoiding emotions are is like a, not a. It's a negative, not a positive thing to do. You know, that's a, a weird energy. But you have the power to let go and to rise up. Because you are a powerful human and divine being. And there's no two ways about it. That's the end of it. That's as simple as it is. And it just takes practice and intention. You need to intend and want and desire to be high, to be well. And to have a good, positive, good feeling vibration where you feel emotionally sound. So. So. So take care and have a lovely day. Lots of love to you and bye bye.